Hey guys, Dylan with the HD Perspective here. I have the February Matco flyer. So I'll go through it here. I guess on the first page, I'm about a half inch or a three eighths impact, sorry. A few extensions and some metric sockets. Get a few bucks off anyways, $188, so $383. Eh, not a bad price if you're into the air stuff still. I guess they kind of come in handy a little bit because they're a little bit smaller, but Actually, the 3 8 isn't really that much smaller than uh, an electric one. Now oh, they've got some lights here. $92. Kind of looks fancy. I know Snap on a Mac all have similar ones, and they seem to be coming out with all kinds of different kinds of lights. So, another option, I guess. Uh, 3 quarter impact uh, cordless 1500 foot pounds it's pretty impressive from uh, cordless one but 932 dollars I don't know I still um, I don't know if cordless is quite there yet to uh, take over for air on the three quarter inch impact I don't know hard to say I still use my three quarter quite a bit and uh, I don't know I've looked at them on the truck. Maybe the technology will be there eventually, but I'm not not sure if it's there quite yet. Definitely for sure with the half inch and the three eighths, uh, I would recommend that. But uh, well, and the other thing was with Matco is the better the uh, warranty isn't the greatest on their power tools. So, but you get two batteries with that, so. There you go. The other thing is, Maco doesn't make a whole lot of other tools other than just your basic stuff like, uh, you know, impact and maybe drill. Like, I don't even know if they make an angle grinder or other stuff that kind of uses the same battery. So that's one of my problems I have with Maco and why I kind of stick with Milwaukee. Uh, yeah, an eight gallon lift oil drain. Could be handy if your shop doesn't supply that kind of stuff. $187. Three jaw jo oil filter wrench. Yeah, they can be useful um, depending on where the filter is. Can be hard to get at with a regular filter wrench. And actually, the price isn't too bad $24.95. These are all Canadian prices, by the way. Uh, this is probably the best deal that they have right now on the flyer. These pinch off pliers, $18.50. Uh, they're all rebranded. They're identical whether you buy them from Snap-on or Mac or Maco or Craftsman. Yeah, so that's probably the cheapest price I've seen them from any of the uh, major manufacturers anyways. So I picked up a couple of those. I already have four, so... Yeah, they're always always handy to have. Yeah, uh, turbo pressure tester set. I guess, well, that's down here. Uh, nine piece, $339. Pressure up your uh, air to air cooler or whatever, charge air cooler. That's uh, one of the first things I always check when I have a low power complaint is uh, boost leaks. So I'm not really sure what sizes you get with this kit. Oh, I guess ranging from 75 to 110 millimeters. So, looks like a handy kit, anyways. Uh, pulley remo remover and installer, 76 bucks. Actually, not a bad price for that either. Uh, these bearing packers, yeah. Uh, trail like your kind of light duty trailers. If you got to repack bearings, I actually have to pack quite a bit of bearings. And I've used this quite a bit, uh, very handy. So $35 saves the mess and uh, makes a lot quicker that, to pack a bearing with this than doing it by hand. So if you gotta do a lot of that, it's worth it. Okay, these, uh, I guess they're calling Saltus Box Wrench. Well, the price is definitely up there. I can't say that, uh, I, I mean, I could see their application and them being handy, but 
whether it's worth the basically 550 bucks um i don't know i'm not sure i probably wouldn't wouldn't buy those wrenches uh, we've got a fairly nice wrench rack here for $52. Also a little bit on the pricey side, but it's magnetic. So uh, depending on how the layout of your box might be the way to go. It's always good to keep things organized, but there are other options too. Yeah, a little uh, portable bench with a free sling if you buy it, I guess. So $83. Uh, some crow's feet, like kind of the flare nut style. Yeah, 152 for the metric and 244 for the standard. Or you buy one and get one free. Well, I guess if you buy one and get one free, that's not too bad. Something, well, something that you don't really use a whole lot of, but when you do need it, you need it. So, and they can save your. Save your bacon, that's for sure. Uh, fire hose nozzle there, 35 bucks. Hose reel, yeah, basic stuff. Over the engine creeper. Yeah, I mean, I could see it being useful, depending on what you're working on, but probably not so much in the heavy duty world. More automotive stuff there. Arbital palm sander, cutting disc arbor, you know, basic stuff. Yeah, you should probably have one of those in your box. Some uh, body tools and some more body tools. So, depending on what you're looking for, it could be all right. Nice uh, pick set there, $200, but yeah, I don't know. Kind of expensive, but insulated screwdrivers, precision screwdrivers. Uh, these are kind of handy. I still don't have one, but uh, been waiting for a good price on it. $146. I've seen them on Amazon for around 100 bucks. So, and I've seen them on sale for around 80. Just gotta kind of watch with those. Uh, two piece uh, pry bar set, $161. Yeah, if you need some long pry bars, might be a good option there. Terminal puller and uh, I guess wiper arm puller, $34. Actually not a bad deal there. Could be useful. Uh, battery cable crimper, 63 Battery tester with a printer. I guess if you want to print something off for a customer, but you don't need to spend that much money. $152 for another battery and alternator tester. Uh, six piece relay by bypass set with a amp loop, $112. Master Relay Jump Set, there you go, 241. Uh, a little boroscope there, 224. So I guess that'll work with your scan tool. I'm not too sure how that works. Some more fuse savers. Now, they seem to be putting these in the flyer quite a bit, but once again, never really needed them. I could see them being handy, but really, there's other ways of doing it. Uh, this is actually pretty handy if you're doing any kind of uh, trailer work with lights and stuff like that. Always handy. So, and it's not too bad of a price, 40 bucks, I guess. It's nice to be able to roll them up nice and neat so they go in your toolbox. I mean, you can build yourself something too for a lot less, but then you kind of got a ball of wire in your toolbox. I guess they've got their... Uh, 4S toolbox. They do make some nice boxes. I don't like how they put the power on the front. Mac does that too. Be kind of in the way of the drawer when you got cords hanging down, but I don't know. They look like they're pretty sturdy. TPMS tool. Brake pad spreader. Tire inflator. $95. Jeez. 
Um, some axle nut socket sets there, 122. Another Mac Tools swag. And Oakley sunglasses. And they got a couple air drills here. Buy this, get one free. So you got a half inch and a three eighths there. I don't know, I don't really use my air drill too much anymore. I got a cordless drill. And uh, some drill bits with some reverse drill bits, left hand drill bits free. So $191, I guess. According to my dealer anyways, these are a lifetime warranty. So if you break one or whatever, you'll replace it. So I guess maybe it might depend on your dealer, but it could be an option anyways. They seem like they're decent enough bits. Co-worker of mine bought them. So that's it for this flyer. Thanks for watching everyone. And uh, it would really help me out if you enjoyed these videos to subscribe. So thanks for that. And we'll talk to you in the next one.